video, we're going to look at the rate of change, but from the perspective of a graph instead of a set of data. In particular, we're going to look at some data about the daily active users from various social media companies. Each company calculates the daily unique users that it brings to the website, and they're measuring that over time. This is what DAU stands for. Let me describe the four graphs. First, we have the graph of Snapchat. The graph starts in 2015 at around 100 million daily active users and ends somewhere in 2018 with just under 200 million users. It's increasing and maybe even leveling off a little bit. The next to the scene in 2016 is Instagram Stories, which basically copied Snapchat. And so it starts at zero million daily active users and begins to rise pretty fast, uh, ending at the same point in 2018 at about 400 million users. So a much faster rise. The next to the scene is WhatsApp and WhatsApp status uh, arrives in early 2017, rising very, very quickly to uh, 450 million users by uh, 2018. And the last graph, just after WhatsApp hits the market, Facebook Stories hits the market, so in that same 2017. And all we really have for that are two data points, and it's um, ending in 2018, about mid-year, with about 150 million users. So that puts it ending in 2018 uh, below Snapchat. Alrighty, we're going to analyze the rate of change just in the year 2017. We're going to, in particular, calculate the average rate of change for Instagram Stories, and then we're going to do it for Snapchat, because Instagram Stories was kind of the first copycat of Snapchat. So let's look at Instagram Stories. The first thing we might want to have is a set of data points for the very beginning of 2017 and the very end of 2017. We'll have to approximate this from the graph that's drawn. I'm going to pull up a ruler here and use that horizontal line to get an approximation. Now you can do the same using an ID card or maybe a piece of paper. Looks like that's a value of about 140. So let's say at the beginning of 2017, let's actually write out our variables. T is going to be uh, maybe uh, years from 2017. We'll let, what variable should we use here? We're doing daily active users, so let's let D equal the daily active users in millions. All right, now the points. So our data points are gonna be, first, the variable we can control, which is measuring daily over a year, so it's gonna be time, and D is gonna be the dependent variable, the thing we're observing from that. All right, so our two data points would be at the beginning of 2017, which is gonna be time zero, and at the end of 2017, which is gonna be time one. At zero, we're saying the value is around 140 million users. And if we look again with our ruler at the end of 2017, we're gonna see that's about uh, maybe halfway to 350, so let's say 325 million users. To calculate the average rate of change, we take the difference in the dependent variable over the difference in the independent variable. That's gonna be 325 minus 140 divided by one minus zero. So easy math on the bottom there. 325 minus 140 is 185. So that's 185 million daily active users per year. That's how fast Instagram Stories was growing over that one year time period. Now we're gonna do the same thing for Snapchat from the beginning to the end of 2017. Again, we're looking for two data points, one that has a time of zero, zero years since 2017, and one that has a time of one at the end of 2017. So let's pull out that ruler and look at Snapchat. At the beginning of 2017, looks like we have a little over 150, so let's say 160 million daily active users. And at the end of 2017, it looks like we have um, about 180 million active users. Again, let's go ahead and run the calculation for average rate of change. The difference in the dependent variable, or daily active users, 180 minus 160, divided by the difference in the independent variable. That's one minus zero, one year. So here we get 20 over one, or just 20, and that's 20 million daily active users per year.
Investors are a little bit worried about Snapchat because it's not growing very fast. When you compare 185 million daily active users per year of growth versus 20 million daily active users per growth, that looks pretty bad. And even from the graphs, you can see that it looks pretty bad. But what's unfair about comparing these rates? Well, Snapchat started with zero users and built the feature that everybody uses in Snapchat, which is stories amongst a few other things. Whereas Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, they already had an enormous user base. Facebook had a, a user base in the billions when they started, and so did WhatsApp. So the graphs there aren't really fair. They copied another feature and added it to an existing app with an existing user population. So it's also not surprising that they had this really, really fast growth. And what we would expect to see is that they will also level out kind of like Snapchat is doing. The problem, of course, is that if Snapchat doesn't get some more users and figure out how to grow again, they might be in trouble.